after you start to make your stuff. This is going to be a part. This video is going to have two parts. Part one is going to be circuit maker, just schematics, and the second one part will be track maker, which has like it has the layout of it. You put on a Miller machine, and then the Miller machine prints out the circuit board. It's basically like a schematic, but it's the file type needed to print out a PCB, which is printed circuit board. Or first of all, the general section has mostly everything you need. Like battery snaps would be the battery here, depending on what kind of circuit it is. That is. And I'll just make a simple circuit to lower this turn Alright. And instruments. I'm going to put LED in there. Put that in there. And then we'll put a capacitor. Alright, and then what you're going to want to do is you want to click the wire tool up here. The wire tool is this, like, X, set, cornered X, I guess you can say, at a 45 degree angle. Then you want to attach all the parts. This isn't really a circuit. Well, technically it is, but I don't think it would really do anything. I mean, it would light up the LED if you had, as this was a 1.2K and this faster was uh, jumper than it worked, but I just put that right now. Anyway, so this is the wire tool, then you can label it in LED by there. Alright, and then you can delete stuff by clicking this, like, thunderbolt, we're gonna call it. And then you put it back, or whatever. And then what you can do is if if you click that, it'll go back to the mouse. Right click, you can say, you can say snip wire, so you have two sections. I'm not sure if you can see that, but there's a little, like, snip right there. And, yeah. So that's basically it, and the cool thing about this is you say control A, it selects everything. And you go into paint, which is here. Or you can do it in Word too. What you can do is you can copy and paste all of this into Paint, and you can save it as a JPEG, or you can print it. You can print it on Circuit Maker too. But you can't save as save it as a JPEG. So pretty cool. Anyways, so then we're gonna that's basically it, and then you click Control V. Well, yeah, you click Control A, select all, click Control C to copy it, and click Control V to paste it. And you click File, Save, and you can save it as most, almost any type of common picture file, PNG, JPEG, whatever. And that's basically it. That's basically the extent of Circuit Maker. But, Okay, back to what I was saying, the general basically has everything you need, but, like, stuff like 7, seven, seven segment displays, you'd have to search it, or you can just go to the LED section, it'd be there too. But this has everything you need for schematic, every symbol, everything. So that's basically it. Thanks for watching. Today I will be showing you about Track Maker. This is part of Circuit Maker 2000 Part 2 video. Alright, so this is a software that makes a PCB, which stands for Printed Circuit Board, and it makes a file, and you load it to the mill machine, and it basically cuts out your board. This is how you make the file. What you first need to do is make a square. You can measure it however you want. I'm just doing a random square. Yeah. Okay, that's good. And then what you can, what you do is you put a label in like other one. Squared. Say PCB by here. Okay, put that here. 
really good. All right, and then you want to. These are I call I call these donuts. And if you if the part isn't in here, that's it. If the part isn't in here. If the part isn't in here. You want to put the hundred. That's usually the basic whole size for any part. And like yeah. So if you don't have the part in this thing here, the yellow square up there, then you want to put these in, and you want to just estimate. And if you can't estimate, then you want to get a caliper and measure the distance between the leads. I was too random right now. Alright, and then the parts on this yellow cube right here. If you go to the C, pro, if you go to C, Program Files, sorry, if you go to my computer, this my computer, C drive, program files, and then you go to Strick and Baker Thousand. It should be in the library. All the parts, well, the part folders, we're going to call them. We usually already have the standard loaded, which is this one. Yeah. So they, these are resistors. Most of the time you want to use a 7 axial 0 0.7 or 0 0.8. And for LED, for capacitors, then you want to use our like these ones. One more thing. These here. These are the ones you want to use. Most time I use this one, but let's just put it down for the heck of it. And then we'll put a resistor. Small, I don't care. All right, and then you want to put two donuts if you're having a plug or power supply. You want 100 again. You know it's copy and paste if you don't feel like going back and forth, which I'm doing right now. All right, so I'll, I'll show you a little demonstration. I don't know it looks crappy, but oh, well. so this is going to be a transistor where my mouse is right now. So let's just put that there or whatever I'll call that transistor. Put that there. Here. And I know I usually do a better job than this, but I'm just rushing because yeah, I'm just don't feel like waiting. Right. That's good. All right, there. Good. All right. First of all, if you want to delete them, you have to highlight them and click the delete on your keyboard, or you can right click and yeah. And if you see like little like indents or whatever, you right click and you save a fresh screen so it like refreshes the screen basically. And you can zoom in with these and you select it. Like you select the area you want to zoom in, which is my PCB, and it'll select right into it. And if you want you want to see the whole page, you fit the window, whatever it's called. You just do that. Thanks for watching my video. Bye.